So this is the press gallery. At this end we've got uh, the West Australian newspaper. They're the only guys in the gallery that focus solely on issues uh, affecting uh, West Australia. And we've also got AAP or Asso Australian Associated Press. They're the largest news agency or news wire uh, that we have in the press gallery. They provide uh, information uh, in terms of stories as well as uh, photos and also video for other media outlets. There's a couple of other smaller players, uh, news wires, within the press gallery, including Reuters uh, and Bloomberg. Now we're coming into the part where the uh, TV uh, area is, so uh, back there on the right, that's Channel 10, and then we've got SBS right next door. Next door to them, a Channel 7, um, and you can see these trolleys here. These have got um, equipment, television equipment on it. Everything in television uh, is expensive and heavy. So that's Channel 7 and then we've got the ABC. ABC consists, uh, it's quite a large organisation of uh, online, radio, TV uh, and things like News 24. So the radio studios that we have at Parliament House range from the very small like this one, which has only got enough space for one person. And this radio studio has got enough space for the presenter as well as three guests a television camera can stand here to shoot uh, what's going on and there's also enough space for another television camera to roam around. Now, just as it is with radio, in TV there are different studio sizes. Now this television studio is only large enough to have one television camera and one guest. This is a much larger studio. This studio can fit three or even four cameras in it and quite a number of guests. Down this corridor in the press gallery we've got SBS Radio as well as Sky News and if you come over this way you'll see the window there, that sliver of a window, that's the Senate Chamber. Now in Parliament House there are in fact three press galleries. There's the press gallery that I'm giving you the tour of at the moment and there's two others. I'll take you inside. In the upper house there are four galleries, three public galleries where anyone can sit and the one we're standing in, the press gallery where journalists can watch what's going on in the Senate. The broadcast that you see from here is shot entirely by the Department of Parliamentary Reporting Services, not by the commercial stations or the ABC. There are very strict rules regarding what can and can't be filmed here, and the photographers in here are only allowed to shoot the person with the call. That's the person who's officially speaking, not the senator on the other side of the chamber that's screaming at them. There's a lot more freedom for the photographers in the House of Reps chambers, where they're basically allowed to shoot anything that they see happening on the floor. In the reps chamber, or lower house, where the opposition leader and the prime minister sit, we see the same three public galleries as we saw in the Senate and the press gallery. Only accredited press gallery photographers are allowed to take photos here. So that means if you're a journalist and you're sitting here, you see something that you want to take a photo of on your phone and then tweet it, you're not allowed. It also means that politicians aren't allowed to take photos either. There are no restrictions on photos or video back in the Federal Parliamentary Press Gallery. So the Senate Press Gallery is just on the other side of that wall here. Behind me to the right uh, is 2GB, so 2GB includes uh, the Macquarie Radio Network. And where we're moving to here now is a place that's called the Boxes. Now this is where media releases are boxed. It's not used as much as it used to be, um, but uh, there are still some uh, people who come and put media releases, uh, hard copies of them, into the boxes um, here. This is the Prime Minister's uh, box. Now, um, if you look here, you'll see that uh, this hasn't been used since October 2007. That was the last press conference that was called by the Howard government before the uh, election. It's locked and apparently nobody has the key. We'll have to wait and see until the next um, coalition government gets in as to whether that key returns. Also at this part of the press gallery is the bell. This one's rung when uh, something's going to happen very quickly. If I rang that bell now, you would see that the corridor would fill with people and they'd come out and they'd be very angry because there wouldn't actually be a job to go to. Over here we've got uh, Fairfax Radio, which is 2UE, 3AW, 6PR, 4BC and a stack of other regional radios. So right down the other end of the uh, corridor there, that's where all the television stations are, except for Channel 9. Now when the changeover came to go from Old Parliament House to New Parliament House, uh, the guys decided where they were going to have their offices and uh, the late Peter Harvey decided it would be better to have Channel 9 at this end of the corridor rather than next to all these competitors down the other end of the corridor. Fairly smart move. 
Here we've got News Limited. News Limited have um, quite a large space. They provide uh, content for uh, the Herald Sun, uh, the Australian, uh, Adelaide Advertiser, Brisbane Courier Mail, um, quite a few uh, newspapers. Um, here on the right are their competitors, Fairfax, um, City Morning Herald, then the Financial Review, and uh, the last one that we uh, would come to would be uh, the Melbourne Age. Now, the most important part of the press gallery is not all the offices that we've seen. Um, it's not the radio studios, the TV studios. It is, in fact, just around here. It's the coffee machine. Journalists couldn't work without it.